Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome to Linux Tech Geek. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about a use flag called saved config. Now what saved config does is it allows you to save a configuration file, right? And then the next time that you use Portage to update a program or that specific program rather, it will use that configuration file for it's it's new configuration file, right? So for instance, um, a lot of you guys know that I'm a tiling window manager fan, okay? So I like programs like I like uh, D menu, I like DWM, and with a lot of these programs, one of the problems that happens is every time that you you know you make a change or you you know you, you make a change to the window manager or whatever you have to recompile that program right like and you have to manually go in there and recompile and everything like that well portage actually has this feature built in and i didn't know about it until um about a week ago honestly um i was doing one of my streams and um some guys was talking about it in there how they they've used this safe config uh, use flag before. And one of the coolest things about running Gen 2, in my opinion, is the fact that I learned so much. Like, I have learned so much over the years from you guys, from just doing a little bit of research online about, you know, what all Portage can do. And I, it, it blows my mind every time I learn something new because, you know, in, in my opinion, I think you know like i'm like man i, I know a lot right no i don't <laughs> i don't know a lot because every time i think i know a lot one of you guys tell me something that i didn't even know about and it, it's really really kind of cool all right but in today's video what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how this saved config uh file is kind of used and uh, i'm going to be doing it in a, in a uh, virtual machine here now what i will say is that of course before making this video i tried to do this on my actual um, bare metal and the program that we're going to be using this on is d menu now for some reason it didn't work here on my actual production machine but it did work in the virtual machine and i think the reason that it did not work simply is because i already have a version of d menu installed so i don't know if it's getting kind of confused or what's going on but it does work um and uh I, like i said we're gonna be doing it in a virtual machine and i'll show you guys okay so let's go ahead and flip over to the desktop here and uh let's get in the virtual machine now uh, I believe that's the password. Yep. Let's go ahead and full screen this so you guys can see. Okay. Let me pull up a terminal here. And like I said, we're going to be doing this on D menu. Okay. Uh, now you can do this on any program that has a use flag for saved config. There is a wiki on the gen 2 wiki uh about all the programs that have this uh this use flag okay uh but mostly your suckless software uh they will have this feature so the only thing that i have done is um package dot uh use just so let me show you guys here um so in my package um dot use uh variable or uh, file I, i've got an entry called d menu okay and for d menu the only thing that i have put in here is zynorama right and that's for multiple screen support okay and then uh this is the one that you want though you want saved config so if we do eix d menu you can see that save config is one of its use flags right so let's go ahead and install the menu here um if i can remember my password here on this vm um so emerge the menu okay and now it's going to pull in 
um, all that stuff. And you're going to see right here, you're going to see a, a kind of a special message. And it says, no saved config to restore. Please remove use flag save config or provide a configuration file. The first time that you install a, a program with this save config um, use flag set, uh, it will kind of gripe at you because there's no save config file for it to, to read, right? Um, but it, don't worry, it does make one for you. So you can see right here is um, it, it says your configuration for D menu has been saved in ETC portage save config D menu 5.2 right here. Okay, so that's the file that we actually need to edit. Okay, so let's get in BIM. So it's ETC portage uh, save config x11 misc and then it's going to be d menu 5.2 okay so let's go ahead and edit this and you will see that this is a standard d menu configuration right it this is the same thing as if you would edit the config.def.h file um, if you just simply did a git clone okay uh, now if you want syntax support there is a thing on the wiki that says that you can uh, you can make a symbolic link uh, to turn it into a .h file so that way you do have um, uh, you do have syntax support now D menu is a very small program I, I I don't really need syntax support for something like this however if I was doing this exact method uh, for DWM then I might opt in to make that symbolic link file just because DWM's config is a little bit bigger. Um, but we're going to we're gonna tweak some stuff in here, right? Um, so first thing I want to do, because we want to make sure that this is working, right? Like, I, I want to, instead of this top bar, instead of it, it going to, instead of D menu being at the top, what I want it to do is I want it to be at the bottom, you know, just to verify that this save config actually works, right? So we can turn this to zero and you can see right here, it says if zero D menu appears at bottom. So we know that this should work, right? We can also change the fonts. Let's change the fonts. Let's change the font to I don't know, fifty something crazy, right? Like it doesn't it doesn't matter. All right, and then I think for right now that would be good. There's not a whole lot of stuff in here besides like the color or and stuff, so we don't really have to worry about any of that. So now let's right and quit. Okay, now we have after we do the configuration. We have to re-emerge D menu. Okay. So we just do emerge D menu. Let it emerge here. And you can see it says building using saved config file. And then it points to the config file that it supposedly used, right? So let's make sure that it actually worked right so we can do d menu underscore run and you can see we got this crazy d menu at the very bottom here and you know we didn't have to get clone or anything like that it just you know it it works and the cool thing about doing something like this is that you can actually do like multiple versions and there's a bunch of stuff on the wiki that it kind of talks about and uh, I thought this feature was really cool um, you know it, am I going to use it all the time honestly probably not I, I'm probably not but for those of you that don't want to have to deal with it and maybe you just want to make one configuration file you just want to write it one time and leave it and you want it, you know, for all eternity. This is a good option. This is a really good option. Now I'm going to turn, uh, excuse me, I'm going to return this back to the top bar here. 
And I'm going to change that font size. <laughs> We're not going to keep it 50, but I might put it 30. It doesn't matter, right? Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, someone someone had mentioned to me. Um, I, I forgot who mentioned it to me. I mean, uh, I do apologize, but yeah, I was like, you know, I was like, that's pretty cool. I should make a video on it. Um, it's one of the things that I probably, I don't think I've ever talked about. And uh, yeah, it was a great idea. So I do want to thank uh, the individual who, it, it was either Darth or it was somebody, uh, somebody in my chat when we was doing a live stream mentioned this. And uh, I told him that I, I would take a look at it. But like I said, you can... Uh, you can do this for several programs. You can do it for the kernel, uh, of course, DWM, DMenu, ST, programs like that. Um, there is a list on the wiki of the programs that support this saved config. Not every program supports this, by the way. Okay, I do, I do want to say that not every program does support this. But uh, if it does support it, then uh, yeah, this is a great option. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you learned um, a little something. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And uh, let me know if you guys are thinking about maybe using this save config uh, use flag. Come check out the stream. Uh, I've been streaming on Mondays, okay? Um, so how my streams are going to be set up now is that every week we're going to pick a program, right? And we're going to configure that program. Now, it's a random program. Uh, this week, it's been uh, BIFM, and we're going to finish BIFM probably Monday. Now, the times are kind of different right now. Unfortunately, I, I do still work. You know, I, I have a full-time job, so I, I do have that commitment. But come check out the stream, okay? Um, and what I'm going to be end up doing is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a community repository, okay, on my GitLab. And that community repository, it's going to be that, you know, it's going to be the house for our, you know, our community config files. So uh, after we get done with VIFM and everything, I'm going to put VIFM in its configuration file. I'm probably going to put it on that community repository uh, for you guys to download. And the cool thing about the community repository is that if you guys want to make a merge request or if you guys want to make a change, feel free. It, it, it's not it's not going to bother me any, okay? And it allows you to stop by the stream. You can say hello to me. Um, we can, we'll talk, do whatever. So if you guys like have any questions or anything like that, you guys can feel free to ask me and hopefully I answer them. So eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a poll up every week um, asking you guys, the community, what program we should uh, we should configure next? So that way, everyone has a little bit of input on the program, and uh, I just think it would make the stream a little bit better. All right, but I do want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. And until next time, I want you guys to take care, be safe, and peace. Bye, guys.